Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Why? Generic control in the deck goes me here back with another FNAF video today we're doing I saw FNAF security breach the finale by a FNAF of course I've been doing these for the past couple weeks last week was a part two and he pointed out some really really good things that I also had the scariest like 15 seconds of my entire life on camera so if you want to see me getting scared over and over again by jump scares you go check out that video right there there's timestamps for it down below in the comment section of that video also be linked down below in the description and it'll be in the playlist on my channel if you want to go find that video and definitely search the comments for the timestamp uh i think uh what was it jacoby i think you uh had the timestamp it says like this is your favorite time on the entire channel there's like almost 3,000 videos on the channel and uh for you to have those 10 20 seconds as your favorite uh yeah no it was terrifying absolutely terrifying i don't like scary games i'm playing through resident evil i'm about to do the escort mission today this video uploaded on the duck goes gaming on tuesday but this is going to be i saw fnaf security reach the finale it's a much shorter video also shout out to the patrons because they get the videos day early and lime pay one channel i'll be live stream today at 5 p.m uh playing some pokemon heart gold nuzlocke i almost lost a nuzlocke last week so uh the team is looking really rough and it could be the end it could be the end this time hopefully we're gonna prevent that from happening happening but thank you so much for being here i do read all your comments to so leave some down below and i respond to a lot of comments as well and i hope i can make your day a tiny little better that's why i don't have a paywall on the channel that's why i have patrons three dollars a month get you all my reaction videos a day early which is 16 videos a week for three dollars a month so i've kept up that rate for a couple years now i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure i've uploaded at least two videos every single day for like probably close to three years now so that's a little bit insane but let's go ahead and jump to i saw fnaf security breach the finale all right last In this one video, i'm gonna was show terrifying. you who the tape girl from fnaf vr is some more proof for why i think patient 46 is the charlie bot and finally i thought I'm patient 46 is gregory story we're trying to figure out please no more jump scares Scott has had please no more since 2016 and although this is the finale of ago. this series i'm not gonna stop making theories so well, make sure to like not. and subscribe let's get started first let me explain how the story of help wanted and security breach has been planned since 2016. to do uh, this i need to take you all the way when back did the to first may of 2016 when fnaf world update 2 was released uh, update FNAF, 2 world. fnaf world was supposed to be scott's game. way of trying to revive the game and poke fun at the mistakes he made from when the original game was released <laughs> update 2 came with very positive reviews with people loving the new mini games that scott implemented but what if i told you that update 2 of fnaf world was a preview of the I'm current story say, we're need more proof? to figure out let me explain back in november of 2018 scott cawthon made a post on steam detailing all of the projects he's currently working on this Did included he? a game called fnaf into madness Ever zero since percent this post complete. Was made, that game has been in the back of my mind what happened to it did scott just scrap it when describing no the game, it's zero scott percent it would be a compilation of several previous gameplay ideas in the same vein as update 2 of fnaf world so what were the gameplay ideas shown in update 2 well adventure fredbear explains that a developer uh, has gone insane and is recycling some of the characters the code for spin-off games basically scanning the code of the characters into the mini games that the developer created this is literally the plot of help wanted and the current story we're trying to solve but it goes so into further. the madness in was help two, wanted it's our job kind to help free the characters whose code was recycled Maybe for the games we can do this by beating each of the mini games they're attached to this almost exactly mirrors the princess quest arcade machines in security breach in order to free vanessa and likely cassidy although that's not confirmed yet we need to complete hmm. all three of the princess quest arcade machines but it goes the, even they're further. always like hidden Most which is so weird games are funny and light i don't want to play security breach one. It's scary. Foxy.exe. Once you enter Foxy.exe, you're met with a makeshift Windows screen. You see two what? things on this screen. A picture of one tree on top of a hill and an That's icon titled looking. Foxy.exe. What happens if you click it? click this icon, the home blood. screen turns red with blood dripping down from the top. You're then placed into a mini game with withered Foxy in the background. The goal is Why? to basically keep walking until the level ends. Each of the Just three walk? levels has a different render of withered Foxy in the background and a different phrase being repeated over and over. Over what is again. a phrase? The first one is listen to my voice and you will find the key. Memory is the key. Listen to my voice and you will find the key. The second one That's is so when weird. You can see how fast can you flee? When you can see how fast can you flee? And and the you walk third backwards. phrase is be sure your step through the heart of madness. Be sure your step 
That, is that even into English? madness. And what character do you unlock when you beat Foxy.exe? I don't know. Nightmare Young. Ah. Foxy.exe was Scott testing out the idea of a character breaking the fourth wall and inserting themselves into the real world by driving the player into madness. There's also one attack that only Nightmare Young and Scott himself can use in update two. Which the is? The fourth wall. What if oh. Foxy.exe represents the idea of Afton turning the Charlie bot into his own? I think this could be supported by the sticky notes we find in Security Breach. Foxy.exe is extremely random with its mechanics. The first level is just you walking with yeah. no interruptions. The second round has Withered Freddy popping up this at random, pretty... causing you to stop so you don't run into him. The stop. third level Wait, is the really? most obscure of them all. In this level, you have to hide from an image of a cat gliding across the screen. Wait, it's a cat? Hide. No hide. Never mind that there's literally a drawing of a cat and a dog mixed with this part of or the Immortal a... and the Restless TV show. Show. He ate the cat! This is oh, if God. you believe the what game is the, the show is actually the, the Charlie Bot, which is definitely debatable. I believe that FNAF VR is Foxy.exe modernized. In Foxy.exe, Nightmare Own's code breaks the fourth wall by taking you to someone's home screen of their PC <laughs> to play a game that slowly drives them into madness. In FNAF VR, which is you are weird, also so you literally walk. playing a game inside of a game that slowly drives you into madness and into the control of Glitch Trap. But this time, That's very Vanessa true. is the victim. Listen to my voice and you will find the key directly mirrors the, the conversation on scottgames.com right before Security Breach's release. Focus on my voice. I will. That also directly references the Curse of Dreadbear DLC where we have to find the key in order to unlock the uh, Vanny Mask in the cellar. Update 2 takes place okay, in the Halloween that, that's update the key. and so does the Curse of Dreadbear. I mean, look at the trailer for FNAF World versus the trailer for Security Breach. They both start the exact same way. In the post where Scott announces FNAF Into Madness, he explains explains that there's a lot of stuff he's working on that will probably be released in 2019, including new games and new books. I believe that the stuff being planned back then was the story we're currently trying to solve. The games hmm. in the Silver Eyes trilogy were being made simultaneously into one broad story that revolves around the ideas he had in Update 2 of FNAF World. The games we are currently playing are FNAF Into Madness. Need more proof? The BB World minigame is one but of the biggest mysteries complete. of FNAF security so why? because it seems so disconnected connected from the rest of the arcade machines. In the minigame, in order to get the secret ending, you need to touch the that purple bridge and stay on the path. Very the main goal is to uh, keep angry. going until the path fades away, leaving you alone in the center of the screen with Sun's face towering over you. Does that sun's sound face, familiar? Just because sun. that's exactly what happens in Foxy.exe. The goal is to keep going until the path disappears and you're left alone in the center of the screen with Foxy's face towering over you. GB oh, basically that means I think back in January over. actually discovered that the BB World game was labeled under a different name in the game files. What was it called? What was it labeled as? Into Madness? Scott Into Madness. The symbolism of Nightmare Yone has been appearing mm. for six years at this point. To me, Nightmare Yone resembles the darker version of the puppet, aka the Charlie bot that Afton stole and made his own. The idea that Scott has been planning this story, and especially the Charlie bot since 2016, sounds insane. Or that's does a, that's it? That's a very the long lie. The actually came out six months before FNAF World. World Update 2, and it was huh. in this novel that Scott began dropping hints that Charlie is a <gasps> robot, and it was this novel that began the story that would end with an evil version of Charlie that Afton stole being the main antagonist. But if that was the hmm. big plot twist of the books, what was the big plot twist of FNAF World Update 2? Well, at the end of the game, it's revealed that the big boss is actually Chica's magic rainbow, and what do we see what? hanging on the wall of Charlie's bedroom in the books? Chica's magic rainbow. Oh. The canonicity of FNAF World has been a big topic of debate for a really long time. And I know a lot yeah, of people are the probably books, skeptical of now the movie that comes out in not that fair. long. But after presenting all of this evidence, I think it's fair to say that Update 2 meant a lot to Scott, since he literally said that he planned on making Into Madness based on the ideas he implemented in that game. In this section of the video, I'm going to explain why I think Patient 46 is actually the Tape Girl from FNAF VR. In FNAF Ta VR, Tape Girl tells us I that think somebody commented saying that it is Gregory. The tape she's made. It seems like that Gregory is Patient 46. To these logs. And that in order to get rid of them, she had to break the tapes up and scatter them throughout the game. I effectively broke the files into pieces. And the anomaly along with it. She warns us that we shouldn't collect all of them because reassembling them might. But does she warn you in the last one? Trap. Though I fear that finding them and reassembling them 
will also reassemble the very thing I've tried so desperately to destroy. Yeah, but don't you but say that in the, the last the one? Tapes, she starts to switch up, telling us that there's actually a way to kill Glitchtrap by collecting all of the tapes and letting hmm. it merge with us. You have to let oh. it begin the process of leaving through you. But there's never a good ending to that game. We were tricked, no. manipulated by Tape Girl to fall under Afton's control. Yeah. Tape Girl started as the victim, but ended up being the one doing the manipulating. Accomplice. Well, yeah. the texts say it looked to them like it was an attempt to Why is the box glowing? Me. Why? I get something different out of them. I don't think you're being manipulated here. I think you're the one doing the manipulating. Mm -hmm. This theory directly lines up with the emails from FNAF AR. In the emails, it's revealed that someone scanned a circuit board from a vintage animatronic into their system. And my glitch. Wish. I believe this to be the FNAF VR team. They try to reach out to James Campbell, but he never James responds. James Campbell? Like I said in part one, not... eventually someone does what is... respond. But I actually no longer it's Cameron believe Campbell this to be Vanessa. I think this is Tape Camp. Girl. Tape Girl then isolates the glitch to one area, aka the tapes. Quote, yeah, and then you assemble the them all. isolated in one location now. Not sure why they're letting it linger in one spot rather than just wiping burning it out, it. but whatever. Yeah, I don't know why. Systems. It's under the radar. I had to hide these logs away from the core gameplay files. Then, the events of FNAF VR happen. Vanessa falls for Tape Girl's trap and is now a vessel for a glitch trap. Uh -huh. The VR team then celebrates that the glitch is now gone. Quote, guys, we're officially clear. The virus is 100% mm, Are you sure system, about that? But that sounds like a trap. But the fully gone. It shifted to Vanessa. While the techs were trying to reprogram the system to remove the glitch, the source of the glitch shifted. You could say that if the glitch shifted into Vanessa's consciousness, it stopped being a glitch. What I understand yes. is that the glitch stopped being a glitch. And if the glitch, aka William Acton, created the Charlie bot, then the Charlie bot, aka Tape Girl, was trying to create another version of what the glitch originally created in Vanessa. And uh. turned into an intentional set of subroutines that were aimed at creating the same thing the glitch created. Yeah, it's how it these just subroutines keeps were on intentional by Tape Girl. They the past have it just keeps on going. Those like the order of events seem to have come it's from a cycle. You. In the retro CDs, the therapist believes that patient 46 is being manipulated, but towards the end, they realize that patient 46 was the one doing the manipulation. This is the same order of events that happens in the tapes in FNAF VR. Patient 46 and Tape Girl are the same person, who I believe is the evil Charlie bot. Need more proof? Oh, in the there we go with that. He said it. That might be the first time he said it in this video. An ink blot <laughs> test. And when 46 sees the inkblot test, she immediately thinks of a mask. You think it's a mask? It reminds you of a mask? Now, why would she connect mask. the ink blots to a mask? The, there was something that looked the like puppet. a Halloween mask the laying puppet. on the floor. The puppet. must have spilled. I couldn't see his face. He had the visor covering his head. He had ink spilled on himself as well. The, the CDs puppet. take place right as Vanessa is in the final stage of merging with Glitch Trap. Vanessa makes the costume that she was told to make. Yes, I have it. I need it myself. You purchased mm. some fake fur material. What are you gonna make? Then 46 Costume. hacks into Fazbear Entertainment's system to get Vanessa hired as the head security guard, even though she has no, no experience. Prior qualifications. Because someone from the higher ups. No. Thank you. This then leads into what I explained in my last video. Vanessa then uses Freddy to clear the path down to the blob and traps Charlie's soul in the evil Charlie bot. Elizabeth's soul merges with Vanessa and Michael's soul uh. merges with Glamrock Freddy. The Charlie bot is then mm. thrown into the sticky note room where Charlie's soul starts to gain consciousness. This is my rough timeline of events as far as the rough retro I know that like FNAF, I said in my last there's a Game video, 30 it's borderline timeline. impossible to figure out how and when some of these things happened. The biggest mystery for me right now is how Vanessa in the CDs has the trauma and memories of Elizabeth before she even gets transferred to the mall where Elizabeth's soul resides. In the books, the rebuilt versions of Charlie still retain her memories. So is Vanessa a rebuilt version of Elizabeth? Maybe that's why oh. she still has the memories of Elizabeth before she even gets to the pizza plex. We also see in the background of Vanny's boss the battle in pot or whatever. Rage, Eleanor, the variation of the rebuilt version of Elizabeth. But I don't know. I think for this chunk Just of the story, theory, that's as far theory. as I can go until we get more information. Something I should have elaborated on more in part two was how the beginning of the second ever trailer of Security Breach aligns with the theory that I'm trying to set up. In the trailer, we hear Afton saying the words, when I first found you, you were nothing, you were small, pathetic, but now you're more. Are you ready? I connected this to how I think Afton found the young Charlie bot that Henry <clears throat> discarded and made it into his own. But I actually cut the part of the video where I explain why I think the Vanny mask is on screen. Like why? I said in part two, I think the Charlie bot has been working for Afton this whole time and also I has mean, helped manipulate Vanessa to get her under Glitchtrap's control. I believe 
them showing the Vanny mask was a callback to Tape Girl and how Tape Girl helped manipulate Vanessa into falling into Afton's control. One thing I also cut from Very the last possible. video was how later in the trailer we last hear video this. Like 27 minutes long. Do as I say. You will bring me what I want. What do you want? Oh Jesus! Oh God! Why? I used to be so confused by this line, that? but now I believe the both of you represents Vanny and the Charlie bot. Just like the big twist in the books and in update two, I think the big twist in the DLC is that the Charlie bot is going to be back. But there's one question. Why would the Charlie bot be in therapy? Well, the only connection uh, I could find as far as the animatronics therapist? going to therapy was this part of the books where Charlie and her friends admit that they used to talk to the animatronics at the pizzeria as a form of animatronic therapy. But now oh. in the games, the roles are reversed. Charlie is now, now the, the robot. The robot to a human therapist. Next, let's talk about why I think Gregory is not a robot. In oh, the video, Gregory's not a robot the theory. Of Gregory not being a robot or the crying child yet, and that he was actually chosen by Vanessa to be the crying child rebuilt. But I didn't bring up any evidence Which for specifically why I think he's not cool a robot. Idea. One of the biggest pieces of evidence for why Gregory Apparently is, this is a, a stealth robot game, is and I hate that. that. Whenever Vanny gets near Gregory, oh my god, she runs that fast. Out. This has been used to try to prove that Vanny is using an illusion disc. The first time we see this happen yeah. is when Freddy is in the charging station after the daycare segment but there's one important thing what to if they actually out. look differently Freddy than can't that see vanny but gregory can he didn't see the dancing rabbit lady right in front of us if vanny was using an illusion disc there would be an illusion she would look yeah. different but instead she looks exactly how she would look if she didn't have an illusion disc my theory is that vanny isn't using an illusion disc in the silver eyes trilogy charlie invents an earpiece so that the animatronics she creates are able to see her and talk to her she makes it clear that these earpieces emit a frequency that makes it so the animatronics can see you. But later on in the story, it, she's able to reverse engineer so they make them you so invisible? that if you wear the earpiece, you're invisible to the animatronics. Oh. This is what I believe Vanny is using. And this therefore, Gregory the wouldn't be an animatronic? Her, it could be on a different frequency. Can. And the noise and effects that happens when Vanny gets near you is because of the frequency. You're obviously trying to get earpiece. caught here. This is also why Vanny doesn't appear blurry on camera in-game. Illusion discs usually make you look blurry on camera. The characteristics of an illusion but disc just don't it. line up well enough with what we the see illusion in the game. I didn't take the illusion I discs from the book to try and explain when I first heard about those. 46 is, who Still don't really like the idea of them, the ear but pieces too. And if Vanny is actually using Charlie's ear pieces, this would make sense since the Charlie bot was on their side the whole time. Gregory being able to see Vanny combined with this clip. I don't want to be crushed and twisted into a meat pretzel. And also hmm. if Gregory is the crying a child rebuilt pretzel. and is occupying the secret sticky note room where he he's has slowly remembering his past, why would he be more scared of the human than the animal? Animatronic that looks extremely similar to the animatronic that he was terrified of. Is that the that bite of '87? Him. Also, the I feel your love that such could a just be mean. a nod to how Gregory was chosen to be the crying child rebuilt. The line "You look different to me" after Freddy gets Roxy's eyes could very easily just be Freddy adjusting to his new eyes. When it's you hop into Freddy yeah. after getting Roxy's eyes, none of the endos or animatronics glow or look different. You could chalk that up to Steel Wool not wanting to make it too obvious, or them just straight uh. up not being able to program that because it would be too demanding for people hardware but Would they were really able to do it me? with all the presents i don't know that point is yeah for debate in my opinion if you've watched i don't know if that would be the issue series, you've probably recognized that my opinions have constantly changed on some things that's because i've spent the past two months researching that's every section a lot of, of this research. franchise and i'm continuing to find yeah, i mean the to this fact day. that he it's found something that matt didn't and the game theory team ago, i was writing theories in my notes app of my ipod touch and now i get to say <laughs> them all touch. to you on this channel i just wanted to say that i'm extremely grateful for this channel and all of you who watch my videos Bye. great videos he offers a really cool uh a touch on things also i could be reacting to gt live i don't want to do reactions to reactions though but the fact that that video got a million views is awesome for fnaf that definitely like blew up his channel definitely helped it also that video did do really really well but i don't know what the next video is i'm going off a playlist someone 101 that's the, the youtuber commenter's name i do read every comment gave out a whole list of things that i should react to and optional videos i should react to so shout out to him for making uh basically the things to go in order for me to go off of. There's a playlist on my channel. I don't know if I should add these videos to that playlist for the Game 3 FNAF playlist because I never intended on doing these and I, I didn't know they exist. So that wasn't like I didn't have the intentions because like I just want to do the game theory. I just didn't know that the, how many theorists there were for FNAF. I know that the lore was crazy. But I didn't realize there was that big of a community for and that many channels for theories on FNAF stuff. But this is the finale. I know he also has this ruin. Uh, no. He has...
the ruin which came out one month ago i'm not sure when i'm going to do that one but this was the finale for or the part three p the finale part three security breach he solved it i don't know how accurate some of the stuff was but he does add an interesting take on a lot of things that matt pat did not notice but i look forward to the next video i hope to see you there hope to subscribe but until next video take care and cue the music